This morning, students and staff returned to class for the first time since the sudden loss of a Grossmont High School student. Gaddy Cruz was killed in a car crash over the weekend. And News 8's Allison Royal is live in El Cajon with how the community is remembering the teenager, including emotional words from the teenager's father. Allison? Yeah, good morning. I think the words from his father are what really stood out last night. His 16 year old son, Gotti Cruz, died. He was a senior here at Grossmont High School, and plenty of people showed up last night to show their support. Take a listen. He's my hero, okay? I love him, but already I miss him. So I believe he's uh, with Jesus right now, but. Uh, of course, I'm crying because I miss him. I need him. I love him. He's my hero. And that was Cruz's father. On Sunday, the San Diego County Medical Examiner officially identified Cruz as the driver that died in a crash on Saturday over here in El Cajon on Fletcher Parkway in Navajo. According to the El Cajon Police Department, the driver lost control and then hit a pole. That crash is still under investigation, and the crash site is now a place for people to pay their respects and leave flowers. There are also plenty of tributes online for Cruz and social media. He would have turned 17 years old this October. A memorial service is scheduled for this Wednesday at Meridian Baptist Church, but a lot of social media posts indicate that that is just for friends and family, right? But there are going to be other community events this week, other prayers and group type of activities for people to go ahead and pay their respects for Cruz. Now, according to the Grossmont Union High School School District, there are other students that were involved in this crash, right? So there were three passengers in that car, according to the El Cajon Police Department, two of which were juniors here at Grossmont. The district is not giving any information about their identities or how they're doing, but just added that they have serious injuries because the district said it does not give information about students' medical conditions or their names. Now, if you are a student or family here at Grossmont, they are going to be offering free grief counseling this week for anybody that should need it. So definitely a tough week ahead here at Grossmont but there are resources available for people who need them. I'm going to go ahead and send it back to you too.